They talk about the Pettys, the Earnhardts, and the Jarrett's, all racing at Myrtle Beach Speedway. Another second generation driver is Kevin Parsons. Kevin, you have a brother named Keith, but you're the guy that's following in your dad's footsteps, especially at the short tracks. Yeah, that's what I'm doing on the short tracks. My brother tried it a couple of times, but I don't think he wanted to uh, work on the vehicles all week to get to the racetrack on Saturday. And that's what it takes for all of us guys to run the short tracks. You go to job, uh, 5 o'clock you get off the job, and you go and work at the race shop till 11 o'clock at night, and that's all that's just to get to the racetrack on Saturday. Did your dad teach you a lot about racing? He used to come here when you had the late model stock car. He certainly did. Uh, basically how to conduct yourself, and he tried on the chassis, but I learned more chassis-wise what to do to the truck or car just from listening at the uh, cup tracks when my dad drove back in the you know, 70s and 80s. Now the final question here is tell me about your most memorable moment at Myrtle Beach Speedway. And it'll never be topped. Uh, my first race I ever won was in a late model stock car and my mom and dad were here and they're both gone now so I'll never top that experience. But you won in the trucks also. Oh yeah, certainly, but nothing will replace the first win you ever have. That was the first win anywhere was here at Myrtle Beach Speedway and my mom and dad were both here. I have a picture uh, of that victory lane in my office at work. Still etching the Parsons name in the record book, Kevin Parsons here at Myrtle Beach Speedway.